Hi y'all, it's Mary again with my empty canvas. I'm getting ready to do some stuff. It's so much effort and time just to get things done when you're stuck up. This is actually not my wheelchair, it's a walker. I have upgraded to a walker. Um, okay, so I did a little picture before. Um, eh, I'll shoot a picture up somewhere in this video. Uh, the last one I did, in case you haven't seen it. Um, I got a new toy. Uh, it's a spinny thing. It's like a Lazy Susan. It's made for cakes, but I don't bake. So, this is my... We're going to try to reuse this canvas. It was from the last painting that I did that I shot a picture up of. I'm still learning. I'm still practicing. So, you know, let's practice and reuse. Reduce and recycle, right? Um, very new, very new to this. Broke my leg, going on vacation. Was not a fun vacation. Only got four hours into the Bahamas before hmm, I pulled the Terry and broke my leg, destroyed the whole thing. So my husband got turned 50 in a hospital instead of in the Bahamas. Anyway, um, we're going to try to redo the thing I did before, which is kind of like a reverse drip flower pour thing. I first saw it, I believe, on um, J-Mo. I, I don't have it written down for me. I'll put his name down on the screen. And I've heard a lot of, um, I've seen Fiona, quite a bit of it. So I'm, I'm trying. I just want to see if I can do it. It's not an easy thing. I, think I should probably start out with like a four. I'm sorry about my dogs. They're bored. Um, please excuse me. They have no manners. Um, I should start out with like a pour or things that look way easier and I'm not even. Um, it's only what we got here. And see if I can get my canvas. Oops. A little bit more even. Okay, I'm going to put this down and play with this. I'm using some leftover paints from the last one, and it's been like four days, so I don't know if they're any good. I'm going to stir them up, look at the consistency, and then decide. All right. I think I'm ready. I think. Uh, get up here. Okay, so I decided one thing. Yes, I'm learning. Yes, I'm buying cheap items and products for as much as as best as I can um to learn um going to I decided I'm going to start saving my stuff um even if I don't like it or love it this is my first one I'm gonna do that I'm gonna keep there's my name the date there's my YouTube handle Terry's Empty Canvas and uh before we start with that I don't even know if this is gonna work at all because I've already used this canvas twice I'm gonna look at these paints. I'm sitting here for a minute. It's probably not enough black. It really wouldn't have been enough if I spilt it everywhere. Well, let's say here. Give it a mix. That's pretty thick. It thickened up on me. Okay. And I don't like it being this big cut. So we're gonna transfer it. Transfer it over here because my thingy keeps getting stuck in there and I haven't put my gloves on yet and I'm already covered in paint. Yay! I'm painted. Oh, I haven't even started yet. Okay, I'm putting my gloves on. Oh. Okay, sorry. Um, so another thing I want to show you these are very, very cheap canvases. I got them. Like I said, I'm practicing, so why spend a fortune on something that I may hate? I may stink at. I might be like, hey, let's do jewelry making, or I don't know, I'm so random. I changed my mind like the wind. Anyway, practice canvases. I think I have six of them. I bought them really, really cheap. I don't know, somewhere at home. I'm actually in Texas City. And my husband works here. We have a rent house here. And, uh, but we live on the lake with a lake house in Trinity, Texas, on Lake Livingston. 
Um, that's what I've got. It's a little bit thicker, but I think last time I did this, it was too thin. So I'm thinking I'm gonna leave this. This mixture is two, far, two parts Floetrol and one part a mixture of the Apple Barrel Black and this. I put just a teeny tiny bit of this. It is Modern Masters Metallic Paint Collection Satin Finish Black. It's got a little sparkle to it. I like that. Um, we're going to play with that and go with it, see what we come up with. Now, I haven't opened these yet. Let's see. I know they're not covered very well. I have other containers I'm going to use in the future. But this is what I had at the time. So, the next color I have, well, that's my base. That's not a color. This is Folk Arc Metallic Pearl White. And I'll give you a little mixy mix. This is one part float, float, float roll. And one part paint. And one drop of this coconut milk oil. Okay. I'm trying to get some, see if we can get some sales. I don't think that's too bad. Uh, I don't want it too thin. I don't want it too thick. We're going to stick with that one. Put that in that box. Look at those. And the next one is... This is just Ultra Marine Master's Touch Acrylic. One-to-one -one Floetrol and paint. And then also one drop of coconut milk. I have them all mixed the same. I was going to see if I needed to add water and stuff to them, but so far... I think I'm just going to go with what I got. This one's a silver. I cannot pronounce this brand name. I keep wanting to say got a deal. <laughs> it's a G O T I D E A L. I don't know. Anyway, it's silvery. It's supposed to be opaque. I don't find it that opaque, but I'm going with that. And then I have, this is a mixture of Apple Barrel Matte White and Apple Barrel Bright Blue. So that, those two paints mixed together, plus one part of those, then one part of Floetrol, one drop of the oil. This one, <laughs> So I have these, I had these little tanks I got from the dollar store and I, they, I don't even know when I bought them. They're so old. I have a bunch more and I wanted like a little, I wanted to put a little green in there. So I was going for a green blue. I mix these together. One part these, one part Floetrol, one drop out of the oil. And this is the color I came up with. I think it's kind of pretty um, the light makes it hard to see. It's greenish. It dries even more green than it looks in the cup. Like you can see the side of the cup. See the greenness? Um, it dries a little bit more green. So, where we're at. Let's get pouring. Okay. Find something new. Let's see. I don't, this is an old cell phone. Uh, we got new ones. But my quality is way better. Um, but... We have what we have, um, and maybe not an important phone call, so yeah. Okay, got everything ready to go. Oh, I to, oh, I pulled the thumbtacks out because they weren't, I don't know, I didn't like it. Also, if I'm gonna spin this, I don't want the thing flying off because of the thumbtacks. I also um, went over the sides a little bit better. And then the edges are on the top. A little bit, just the edges. Okay. Wow, I'm not high enough. 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 Okay. I'm gonna find a box to sit on. <laughs> just kidding. I don't have a box. Um, huh? I'm going to use this little doohickey thing that I made. I will try to do these videos earlier in the day. Or when I know I'm not expecting a phone call, I think we're pretty 
close to centered. Pretty close. As close as I'm going to get. All right. Let's go. This is the pearl white. Oh, already. Not getting that even. They make it look so easy. Hmm. Ultramarine blue. Just that green concoction I made. And we're going to add some silver. And then this light blue. Mm. I want to do just a touch of black or drop something funky in there. Got it. Got it. Yes. Get out there. Okay. Touch. Go on all the sides. Come on. A bit, a bit. Just a touch. That's all I wanted. Okay. And repeat. I made this thing out of the bottom of a 20 ounce Dr. Pepper bottle. Um, it doesn't have the six. It only has five of the little portion things, but that's the best I could find. So far, actually, my friend of mine is like, hey, I drank sodas. Hey, if you see something with more than three holes, would you give it to me? And he did. Thank you, Jeremy. We're just going to do, like I said, a very small canvas. Not too much. A little bit more silver. I think we have enough blue. Well, maybe a little bit more silver. I really think there's enough blue. So let's go back in with a touch of black. Just a touch. Oh, okay. Apparently I've got a heavy touch. Finish it off with a little bit of this green. Like that green. Don't know why, but I do. And some white. And we're done with this part. And we're already flowing off the edge over there. Okay. I'm going to use the fat end. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should fill in the middle or not. Hmm. Why not? Let's see. Do that. Mm. 
maybe at that. spin very gently but before I spin I want to add some of this black background a little bit flow oops well it certainly flowed Cake thing is cool, but I need a higher chair. It's hard to see what I'm doing being below it or even with it. It's hard to see what I'm doing here. So it's not too. I put a little bit of black in the middle. That was probably a huge, huge mistake. Now let's pull up the edges. Oops. 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 Up. Go. Okay. Hmm. Really wish I had that one of. Interesting. Not quite what I wanted here. Let's see what happens if I try to bring this down some. Now try. white thing I did. Picked up quite a bit of paint. Keeping it from, I should have done this before I spun it. Oops. Okay. Let's keep playing. This is not going to look like a flower. See what it does end up looking like.
Um, okay. I like the negative space, but that's too much negative space. Let's go. Oops. Okay. Somebody please let me know. Boys, go play outside. Go get some squirrel. Hi. Can somebody please let me know what's the difference between a heat gun and a torch? Which is better? What should I get? I have this. Hey, I got my phone back. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I think about this. One last spin. Wait, wait. Let's do a better spin than that. I need to... I'm debating on if I want to get the hair dryer out and blow on it with the hair dryer, but I think I'm past that phase. So what I got. Here in a second, I'll do a close-up. Um, let me touch up a few places, like here. And stuff, and we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. Promise myself, I'm gonna just let it go. What it does, it does. I'm trying to, it's really hard, because I really wanna just, it's telling me it's not done. And, I wish it was at a lower level. I might do most of it not on this thing and then transfer it to this, transfer it to this little spinning board. Hopefully without messing it up. about putting chameleon cells in there but there's so many cells already I think that'd be like overkill too much um my next little picture I do try some chameleon cells haven't done that yet I want to try it 
All right, I'll bring you down here in just a minute and show you what it looks like. lighting and the shadows. It's hard to do sitting in a chair. Mm. This is the signature I'm thinking about. Oh, I need to touch up that black right there. This is the signature I'm thinking about using. I don't know if I'm going to or not. Eh, maybe. I want to touch that up. But <coughs> would I buy this? Eh, I don't know. <coughs> but I promised myself I'm going to get what I get, <laughs> know what I did, and keep trucking on, and we're going to get somewhere. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me.